It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants on Monday night. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, these Giants seem to be a team on the improve. They won their first playoff game since Super Bowl 46 last year. Now, what needs to happen to take that next step? They just need to continue to amass talent, get those guys going, and become contributors, and on the offensive side of the ball, become much more explosive in the passing game. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the wait goes on for a Super Bowl appearance. This will be the 28th season since they last won Super Bowl 30 in 1996. Let's add on to that. They haven't even been to an NFC Championship game since 1996. And you know, that does not sit well in the owner's box for the Dallas Cowboys, continuing to try to find their way back to the top of the mountain. The longtime Panther Graham Gano has a set for a start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. Blitz coming and down he goes. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. How about the defense there trying to set the tone on the very first play of the game? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing the tone for this one. Throwing. Prescott. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. Boy, how about this to start a ball game? That's twice in a row now, Charles, that they get to it. And how often do we talk about offenses that operate off of a script to begin games? Feels like this defense had their script together on this one, and their script said put the quarterback down and do it fast. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Looking to throw. Prescott. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. An absolutely dominating series from that pass rush to record the safety. Three sacks in a row shouldn't be possible against an NFL offensive line. But there they are, dropping him on three straight reps, the last of which came in the end zone for two points. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Here's Jackson to return. Well, the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be, someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing Jones. 
He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So, Charles, this defense in for a tough matchup. What do, what do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most, which is, hey, pass rushers, do your job. Coverage guys, do your job. And the linebackers are going to be a mix. Sometimes they'll drop in coverage. Sometimes they'll pressure the quarterback. But all in all, you never want to let that quarterback get a string of completions going because if so, they're hard to deal with and it makes for a long evening. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. And Brandon, from our time in college football where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. After a couple of seasons of battling injuries, the former number two overall pick returned to Pro Bowl form with over 1,300 yards and 10 touchdowns. Just as important, played 16 games and handled over 350 touches, essentially carrying the Giants' offense. Now Jones. Campbell making the catch. Another good game. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 11 yards there, just like last play. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. Back to throw. Jones. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Osa Odigizua with the effort there to earn the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my go, goodness, man. think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Gano's kick is good. And it will push the lead up to five. So when you factor in the safety, this now a five-point swing. And look, I'm not going to turn away a five-point swing because five points, that's valuable. Don't get me wrong on this. But if they could have taken that safety and added seven to it, now you're talking about a really big swing. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they'll get a do-over here after the safety to start the ball game. That was followed by the field goal a moment ago. So just a 5-0 game as they'll begin anew with a first and 10. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. 
Off the play fake, Prescott. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Prescott. story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Seven yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and ten. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Off play action. Jones. Now he's forced out left. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. That's an early scramble to be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Jones from the gun on third down. And that will be incomplete. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out. That's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Prescott off play action. And incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. 
Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. They get one yard back there to make it second and 14. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Prescott now. And this one quickly to Lamb. Short completion, just four yards. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Jones now throwing on first down. That ball caught by Campbell. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. A first down carry for Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and eight. Off the play fake. Jones. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Up the middle with Barkley. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Barkley inside handoff. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 27. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out of here and take off. And he will have a Giants first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Here's Jones on first and ten. 
shreds him with a stiff arm. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Barkley will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. So second and goal and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. They'll give it to him again. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he's got it! Touchdown, Giants! Darren Waller from four yards out. And the Giants go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Extra point try, good by Gano, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. So often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit, and they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Ferguson. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. And this offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good. And that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Probably smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Prescott. 
And that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys have got it back to within a score. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. Point game now as here comes the kickoff. This fielded right at the goal line. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a great return. Solid field position. He's up all the way to the 45-yard line. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and four. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a yard in the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Out of the gun now on third down. Able to find Warner. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down. And he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone. Made sure the quarterback saw it. And was able to make the sure catch. And flip the down marker back to one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A nice pickup of 17 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of 
strength in brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. J. Ron Curse in on the tackle. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. From the 17, Jones. Catch made here by Campbell. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, a three-yard touchdown run. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Gano for the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Meanwhile, Dax 
next throw there caught by Gallo. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and a yard. Throwing. Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 41-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So the drive takes him into Giants' territory now. First and 10 at the 41. Prescott to throw it. Left side the lane. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. To the air again, Prescott. His throw caught at about the five. Touchdown! Jake Ferguson, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are back within a score. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Extra point forthcoming. And this is back to a five-point game. That time, a six-play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And now out come the Giants. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. His carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Now Jones able to locate his man Slayton on an out route. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. <laughs> Throwing Jones. This is going to be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. 
Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Out of his end zone, Prescott. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A gain of 32 that time. Now that one hurts defensively. They force him into third and long, had the advantage, yet they give up the big play right there. Yeah, their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. Prescott looks to throw on first. Able to hit his target lane. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first and ten, Prescott. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Play goes nowhere, taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. Prescott now from the 50. And that is incomplete. And based on my math, They've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Here's Brian Anger now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. And the Giants with one final possession here in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. A quick pass here. He's got Shepard. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up third and one. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. And they run that quick cut on the slant. And oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. On third down, Barkley, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one, got to be in sync, and they were. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Here's a give to Barkley. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 108 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Again, it's Barkley. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. And we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's who you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. And Jones is going to put it in the hands of Barkley on the option. He jerked him. And will be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Throw left side, taken in by Slayton. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. A handoff to Barkley. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Going in motion left, that's Campbell. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium.
And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Now Jones. This pass caught at the four. And the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. Now Saquon Barkley, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown of the night. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Gano the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Quick throw and it's caught by Gallup. That's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Prescott now. He gets it to Cooks. Seven yards there and a first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and a couple. Here's Pollard again. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. First down, Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. A first down throw for Prescott. His throw incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. 
from the 21 it's second and 10. Pollard gets it off the option. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 53 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Pollard is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. On second down, it's Pollard. Well, he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Credit the Giants' defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. And his kick is good. And that lead is back down to nine now. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. So the lead is now dwindled to nine as the kick here is away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. The Omen's effort on that last drive. Seven carries, got the touchdown as well, and the O-line probably got a little extra oxygen on the sideline in between. And deservedly so, because they were also calling for him to continue to get the ball. Be Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaking up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Off play action. Jones looking left sideline incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. 
Jones. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 44-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now Jones on first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Off the play fake, Jones. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Daniel Bellinger, the intended target that time. And it's third down. They'll look to throw again. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. Gano's kick is good. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. That was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Cavante Turpin now to return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. From the 29, here's second down and two. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and wing in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Cooks on a quick slant. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. The Cowboys on third down. 
They've converted three times and eight chances. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 32-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Prescott on first down. Swinging this out for Pollard. They'll give him four yards there at its second down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will obviously break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Now again here to Pollard, and he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that lead is back down to nine now. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners <laughs> kind of know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. Let's we'll see if he can do it. From the 22 now, here's second down at seven. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And he will have a Giants first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. 
He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Jones throwing on first down. It's hauled in by Shepard. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Jones now on first and 10. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Let's be smart. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. And his kick here is good. And that'll move him back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The New York set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Being chased out left. And here's the 
He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Throwing, Jones. Slant pass, hauled in by Campbell. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. Oh, an absolutely filthy jerk. He's got some space now. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 205 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And it's caught. And the Giants are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Barkley is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Jones will try and run with it. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's Jones. Going to throw on third and goal. This is going to be incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Here we go. A big play in a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And he's going to pull his way into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from two yards out. And the Giants are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give him a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first and 10, Prescott. Pollard here once again, back-to-back -back catches. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To the air again, Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 39. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Here's Prescott. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Nar. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Well, the crowd here at MetLife Stadium in full roar. Third down. Now Dak. Flush to his right. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Let's go back over Dak Prescott's career. Six rushing touchdowns in each of his first three years, but only one in each of the last two seasons. As a veteran, he's become much more judicious about when it's time to take the ball and go for the end zone. Extra point right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So a seven-point game, they'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. 
A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. And New York set to take the field. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. They'll go to Barkley again. Oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. by a foot or two it's no good and this will remain a one touchdown game the things just got interesting they tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away they don't get it and now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive well they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off i'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over well the defense now has to make it stand up but they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage prescott Got his man there complete to Gallup. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And remember, field goal does them no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. Here's second down and three. Now Prescott. That's dumped off to Powell. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. To throw, Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second down. Here's Dak. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And now time for one final play that has to be obviously in the end zone. You can't wait to see what they call, but you want to get it to your best player. Sometimes you have to do it by formation, move everyone to one side, and maybe he gets a one-on-one -on -one isolated on the backside. One last shot now for Prescott. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. One final shot. They'll look to throw, and it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty, and with that, the ball game is over. What 
a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.